Cuties, the controversial Netflix movie, right? You know the movie. The same movie that's being researched into by the Department of Justice for Child Exploitation. Yeah, that one. And I'm almost certain I don't have to explain to you why this movie is so terrible and not only the Department of Justice, but the entire world is taking uh, offense to it. But yeah, if you're confused, I've made a video in the past about this entire controversy. And in this video, we're going to be talking about the movie in its entirety because recently it was just released and the whole world has, you know, made a bunch of hot takes about it. And this guy in particular goes out of his way to tell you how this movie, Cuties, turned him on. <laughs> Now this video is going to be covering the journalist and reviewer reaction to this film and how it's completely different to the public reaction. And so we begin with this guy. His name is Mr. Girl on YouTube and he reviews movies and other news topics. And he's been blowing up recently because of this video. Cuties, an uncomfortably honest review. Yeah, it sure was uncomfortable. It was really uncomfortable to watch all 22 minutes of you essentially justifying and bluntly asserting how you found the 11 year old girls in this film to be attractive. And seriously, I wish that this video was only gonna be on this guy and he was the only person on the planet to hold this opinion. But by the end of this video, you're gonna feel just as sad as I am to find out and realize that his opinion is not in the minority. And you'll realize that too by the end of this video. Also, a quick heads up, this video will contain all sorts of clips from Cuties. I'll make sure to censor all of them, but they will be there. Just wanted to give you guys a heads up because we're, we're about to jump into the belly of the beast. Now, it's a solid film. It's a good movie. Um, definitely better than most movies. Definitely better than most movies, you say? So, I, I guess a movie about little girls twerking, you know, and is better than, I don't know, Avengers Endgame, uh, Wolf of Wall Street, Goodfellas. I, I heard that movie was really awful. I, it, you know, Cuties is just the best movie ever, right? And yes, if you're wondering, he's watched the movie multiple times and he says he's going to watch it even more. Seriously, the level of adoration this guy has for this film is, is spooky. It, it is so gross. He goes into detail about how much he enjoyed the film, how many times he wants to watch it. It's just, it's unsettling. Um... And uh, we'll talk about that. We'll talk about the movie itself. But uh, right off the bat, just first impressions uh, regarding the controversy. This film does try to make you sexually aroused by 11-year-olds. And uh, I'll, I'll say it's not bad at it. It's not a total failure in that regard, at least for me. Uh, your mileage may vary, uh, you know, as far uh, it, it's it's basically and I'll and I'll put some shots and I'll, I'll, I'll probably, you know, include footage throughout the whole review. But uh, yeah, as far as like sexy music videos go, um, it's not bad. And there it is. Do I have to say anything else? Do we can we can we just can we just pack it up? Can we go? In all seriousness, you're a sick fuck. I can't believe it that you would actually admit that you found 11 year old girls to be attractive and it's outrageous, but at least he's proving that the, the film had intentions of being sexual and the director, producers, writers, choreographers, everybody involved with that shitty film went out of their way and had the motive to make sure that these young children were sexualized so at least he's proving that to the whole world but like i said before this guy is a sick fuck i can't believe that he would go out onto the internet and just admit that yeah i i found uh i found 11 year girls to be sexy especially the ones who are dancing provocatively oh and if you guys are thoroughly disgusted already i i am so happy because that means there's two more clips that are going to just drive you right into the ground and um it is it's real it's very realistic um i don't know if you've ever heard of the app TikTok. There's some pretty interesting stuff on there that, uh, you know, I've checked out and uh, I recommend you check it out. Uh, girls uh, of all ages are dancing like, and guys are dancing like this. Dances have become more explicitly sexual. Um, but then, you know, I listen to everybody saying these things and I think we just sound the same as like old fogies did in the 50s and 60s. 
TikTok. He uses TikTok to justify this. I mean, he does have a point that, yeah, a lot of things on TikTok are extremely sexual and you don't know who you're looking at. And that's really scary that there could be children on there dancing sexually and there's no parental involvement and, and no visible accountability from the higher ups on the app trying to curtail all of that stuff. Like really 13 year old girls and boys should not be dancing on that platform. It is very awful. And I hope that they're figuring out a way to, you know, curtail all of that. But even with that all being said, it's still not a justification for this film. If anything, it's a justification against this film. If anything, we as in the public should have actually predicted that a film like this would have been created if we let apps like TikTok exist where people can just dance provocatively and no one asks any questions. In a world like that, the movie Cuties really doesn't seem too much of an anomaly, right? It's kind of scary that we let this happen in our society. And no, saying that girls and boys on the internet and any other social media platform shouldn't be sexualizing themselves and dancing and, and doing all this weird stuff, all this adult stuff, is not being a fogey, it's not being a prude, it's just being moral and understanding that children don't know what they're doing and they don't know what they're getting themselves into. Somebody who's dancing provocatively and being 13 years old could be susceptible to grooming by somebody else saying like, oh, you should dance this way or maybe you should practice with me. You know, send me some videos of your, of your new dance moves or whatever. I'm being, you know, general with this, but you guys understand what I'm trying to say. It's still bad regardless. And I seriously don't understand where this mentality comes from where if something already exists and it's already terrible, we should just let it happen because it exists. I mean, it it's already present in society, so why even why even do anything about it? If anything, we should lean into it. You know, if we can't beat them, join them. No, that's an awful, awful mentality to have. And this dude is going out of his way to use it to justify a disgusting and degenerate film. Um, I think that it does give you a lot to talk about and a lot to think about and it doesn't exactly tell you where to land on how appropriate this dancing is uh and um how how do we children are horny little girls are horny and they want to express that and um we aren't sure how to handle that kind of graceless transition from being nine to being 13 or 14 or 16. What in the Flintstone fuck? Are you serious? Did you just say children are horny? What are you- what? Like, no, no you're not gonna just say- that's not true. That is- that is not true. And, and it's funny enough, all the age brackets you just mentioned, are, none of them are adults. You, you stopped at 16, you fucking creep. But that's not important. What's important is the fact that you just said that kids are horny and we should think about that and this film is 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 making you consciously aware of the sexuality of children there there aren't any reasons for me to think about that and funny enough you mentioned that this film is going to inspire a lot of questions like whether or not children dancing on the internet provocatively is okay like the answers to those questions aren't already present in a moral and civil society we already have that answer no don't do that you don't know what you're doing. Stop. Someone might take advantage of you. That's what society already understands. We don't need a film like Cuties showing scenes of girls taking pictures of their genitals, dancing provocatively in a crowd of grown women and men. We don't need a film about that. We don't need a film depicting that or, or having children hired and casted to play those roles. No, we don't need a film to inspire those thoughts. Those are already deep fried, baked, etched into a proper and moral society. The fact that you think you need to justify this film by saying that it has that sort of moral message or has to inspire a question for you to answer yourself of whether or not this film is moral is stupid. Stop trying to justify your pederasty with crackpot logic. It's really awful. Stop it. You're just showing the whole world how sick you are. Um, and it juxtaposes these, these amazing scenes where it's like you'll see the girls playing on a bed where they're stuffing gummy bears in their mouths and they're just totally children. <laughs> And then you'll see um, them shaking their booties on this stairway as they make this uh, this viral video, and um, they're pretty hot. And you know, you can say whatever you want about me; it's not my fault. I didn't make them do that; they did that. Uh, that's the point. That's the whole point of the movie: is that you're supposed to be sitting there thinking, "Look at the blonde one." You're supposed to be sitting there holding these two thoughts in your head and one that these are kids and the other that they're hot what is there to even to say 
I don't I have nothing to say. I have nothing to respond to that other than that you deserve to be in prison. I really hope that you don't have children. I want you to stay away from schools. Anywhere there is children, I, I would like you to not be there. Because you're a creep. You're you're awful. Now the interesting thing is is that through his explanation of his attraction to these girls via this film is what I and many others have been concerned about because this film is pedo bait. It is exactly what that is. This will attract those who are attracted to children. Like him. Like this fucker. He literally just said that he found one of the children in this film to be sexy. Not only because of what she was doing, but because of the context and the understanding of the film, right? And the sad thing is, is that if I were to show others, individuals who are agreeing with this film, who will go out of their way to defend this film, this clip of him literally saying that he found one of the girls in the film to be hot, they will probably find another reason to like this film. It's because, well, they finally got what they wanted. Now they don't have to go into the dark web to find this stuff. It's right there on Netflix. So there's also a lot of social commentary laced throughout the movie, which I thought was pretty good. Um, so the first time we see someone dancing, it is an 11-year-old girl, but it's shot so that we, I think, are supposed to not know if it's a woman or a young girl. And, um, I mean, that alone just raises interesting questions. I think the whole thing, the, the title, Cuties, um, and I don't speak French well enough to know how accurate that is, um, it's a great title because we, do, we already sexualize children. When we tell a child that they're cute, we are telling them that they're attractive. And attractiveness is, is only one thing. It's sex. Attractiveness need, leads to sex. What the fuck? This is it. I don't want to watch anything else. I don't want to see any other clips of this video because no way did he just say that if you find a child to be cute or adorable, you want to have sex with them. What in the world are you talking about? I have never ever heard someone say that before. I've never ever heard someone associate cuteness and adorableness with sexuality. Cute and adorable are just synonyms for baby-like. You want to protect it. It's adorable, it's small, it's kid-like. You don't want to fuck something that is cute. And this dude is using his backwards, butchered description of cuteness and understanding of cuteness to justify his philia, his gross and deplorable attraction to children. And the fact that this man is bold enough, retarded enough to go onto this platform, a public platform, and share his thoughts about how he finds children to be sexually attractive, 11 year old girls to be attractive, speaks volumes because he's supposed to be afraid. He's not supposed to feel comfortable sharing these thoughts. And this gross film, Cuties, has given him the avenue to share his thoughts about how he finds little girls to be attractive and he's using that philia he's using his degenerate thoughts to justify the existence of this film this man sucks i'm tired of watching this video it's absolutely gross i can't believe he actually said these things it's it's throwing me off i tried to be calm i tried to be kind of cordial and, and, and just debate this guy's ideas even though it's not even worth debating i'm tired and i'm sure you are too but the most unsettling thing is the fact that this man's ideas this man's thoughts aren't in the minority there's plenty of people who have gone out of their way to write full articles supporting his position. And we're going to go over these articles together. And we're going to learn quickly the implications of all of this conversation and debate around pedophilia and sexualization of children. Okay, so a couple weeks back before this movie came onto the world and made everybody question whether or not they want to live in society anymore, Tessa Thompson, somebody comfortably within the film industry, made headlines. Thor Ragnarok actress Tessa Thompson defends French twerking film Cuties. And yep, this is the tweet. Cuties is a beautiful film. It gutted me at Sundance Fest. It introduces a fresh voice at the helm. She's a French Senegalese black woman mining her experiences. The film comments on the hypersexualization of pre-adolescent girls, disappointed to see the current discourse. Yep, yep, that's how it started. And everybody thought this was just going to be the worst of it. You know, a couple celebrities coming out and just misunderstanding the film or just going out of a way to protect it because the director's a minority. And trust me, nobody let Tessa Thompson get away with this. A bunch of people with just all sorts of tweets essentially going out of their way to tell her that she's stupid. And I, I praise that because at that time, people were still kind of sane. There were definitely people coming out and saying, well, you're not actually seeing the film. It's just a poster. It was just bad advertising. Wasn't, wasn't that nice when everybody's assumption was it was just bad advertising isn't that something yeah now we know different right but like i said that was the past we live in the future a darker 
you know, timeline. You know, a timeline with articles like this from Mashable saying that Netflix cuties isn't scandalous, it's honest. And if you want to, feel free to search up all these articles yourself. I'll have all the links in the description. And essentially, this one is making the same arguments as our degenerate fuck earlier, saying that, hey, girls already Turk online, so let's just lean into it. Let's support their sexuality, even though that they're 11 years old. Here's two articles from Forbes essentially talking about how the poster wasn't as bad and the movie is not as bad either. From the same guy. <laughs> Who would have thought? Oh, and the first article in particular, it ends like this, and I just think it's so perfect. The good news is that this controversy will be likely forgotten about in a matter of days, with the movie itself being allowed to speak for itself on September 9th. If the hang ringing means that more journalists and critics cover the movie, which in turn leads to higher initial viewership, that might just be a happy ending for this frankly ridiculous situation. Regardless of whatever blame Netflix has for this situation, at least some responsibility should go to the folks who, if they really cared, as opposed to those acting knowing in bad faith just to pour some gasoline on the fire, could have watched the trailer or did a quick Wikipedia search and very quickly discovered that the film was not what they feared it was. Cuties debuts on Netflix in three ways. It looks fine. Well, it did not, and you made a second article justifying the film so that your first article doesn't seem so stupid, but I digress. But I haven't even touched on the worst offense by far, and I'm gonna be really serious for this one. No jokes, no funny, none of that. The fact that right now there is a conversation and politicization of pedophilia. There's an actual debate going on between political factions, whatever side you're on, about whether or not coming out against pedophilia and sexualization of children is morally correct. And yeah, it's really awful. Here's one from Slate. The creepy conservative obsession with Netflix's cuties explained. Oh, here's another one from Mother Jones. Why are right-wing conspiracies so obsessed with pedophilia? The story is the same from daycare panics to QAnon. It's not really about kids, it's about the fears of changing social order. Oh, and the best one of all, you know, so good that they had to take down the tweet, Cuties, the extraordinary Netflix debut that became the target of a right-wing campaign. Oh, and we can't leave out the tweet itself. Cuties, which angered scandal mongers on the right, is the story of a girl's outrage at the defiance of the patriarchal order. Wow, such a great description for softcore CP. I am more than shocked that this is the narrative that somehow coming out against pedophilia or the sexualization of children has become political and now been attributed to one side of the political divide, conservatism. If that's the world we live in, then we've really, we've lost it. We have lost it. And it's kind of funny because I guess now IMDB is conservative because they made an entire list of all the awful things that happened in this film and how it's nearly borderline pedophilia. I guess Rotten Tomatoes reviewers are 95% conservative because only 5% of the individuals on their platform found cuties to be enjoyable. And all those in the audience who disagree with pedophilia and rightfully so understand that if you are a pedophile, the only thing you deserve is a bullet. You're a right-wing conservative. You're a right-wing conservative conspiracist. No, you're neither progressive or right-wing if you disagree with pedophilia. You're just a person with strong morals and understanding that children should not be sexualized. The fact that that, of all things, the one thing that bound all political parties, the one thing that we could all agree on was that pedophiles suck, that's now political and now attributed to the right. Every left-winger I know was disgusted by this. Every single person I know from all corners of the political spectrum, we're disgusted by this. Like it was literally a meme for a few days that everybody agreed on this one topic. But no, as always, here comes the journo class, right on cue, the blue check bourgeoisie, to tell us that everyone who has a problem with this is right wing. So as I'm editing, a new article just dropped. The creepy conservative fixation on Netflix's cuties explained. It ties in neatly with the terror of black and especially African sexuality that lurks just beneath the moral panic around cuties. So much is centered around the sight of the girls in Amy's mixed race dance group twerking, emulating a style of dance linked to the African diaspora and then picked up by white artists like Miley Cyrus. Yeah, okay, we're all just- we're all just racist conservatives. That's who's mad about this. Shut the f*** up, CIA PSYOP. I highly encourage you watch the rest of that video by Shoe on Head. I'll link it in the description. It'll give you a giant understanding about just the major conversation, not only about cuties, but just 
about everything, about how all these journalists and all these articles are coming out in defense of it and just the strangeness of this entire controversy. To the normal person, it would be cut and dry. Uh, get rid of the movie or just no longer use Netflix because the movie is bad. The movie is pedo bait. The movie is sexualizing children. That's not good. But now people are literally arguing that maybe the movie should stay up because it's empowering and that it's, it's fighting against patriarchy and maybe it's okay because girls already twerk like that on TikTok. It, it's the strangest arguments I've ever read on the internet and all of them are supporting this film. And it's just, it's bothering me. I have nothing else to say, really. What could I say other than that this is bad? I mean, I, I would think that would be enough, but clearly people disagree with me. But that's all I have to share with you. And I'm curious what you think about this entire video. I've included the creepy ass YouTuber and all of the articles that's coming out in support of this film. And if you want me to do more videos like this, just about news topics and about any other, go ahead and let me know in the comments down below. I'd love to hear what you guys think. What's up everybody, it's your boy Aileris, aka Panda Daddy, and oh my goodness did this video take a second to do. Every single day I was planning on uploading it, another article would come out straight up defending cuties. And I seriously wanted to make sure it was included in this video because eh, this is so disconcerting. But with all that being said, thank you to all of my Patreon supporters who make videos like this a lot easier to make. So a big thank you to Trey, Muffy Lou Who, Brody, Noah, Sir Teacup, Ethan, John Robinson, Aerolina, Jason, Carolyn Taylor, Pixie Love, Pixie Art 5, Keith Myers, Hannah, Taki, Bunny Boo, Candeg Plant, Hostmar, Trenton Golden, Vermont, Yeetmaster, Arjen, Will Billy, and Dustin. Thank you so much for your support. It is greatly appreciated. And if you want to help support the channel in any way, there's two links in the description, one to my merch store and one to my Patreon. Both funds go directly into the channel so we can maintain what's happening here. And as always, stay zesty.